Hello everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and here is your five minute tip for this week. We're looking at five very quick updates to Padlet. Remember to click the thumbs up button to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So the first one is how can I sign up for beta testing? So if anything is going on, I want to test it out. So what you can do is you can come here to your dashboard, go to the three dots, click on settings, and there's a button right here at the bottom under basic info that says beta features. So if you turn this on, so if it's gray, it's turned off. But if you turn this on, you'll be able to test new things as they come out before they're given to everyone in the general public. Number two, if I go ahead and open a Padlet, I can come to the three dots, go to settings, and if I scroll all the way down, I can actually update my URL to be a short link. Now, it's not going to be super short, so notice it's going to be padlet.com slash educator Alexander slash, but I can choose what is behind here now. Yay. So I can now say something like padlet resources, if I can spell, save. And that is a much nicer link than that big link that you just saw. Yay. Next. Next thing that I can do is call I can't draw. So this is your AI in Padlet. So if I wanted to comment on this and, you know, I can come to the three dots, but I don't know how to draw, I can click, I can't draw. And what I can do is I can come here and say, I'm looking for a purple unicorn photo. And it may take up to a minute, but it's going to AI a picture for you. So of course, some of the pictures you may like, some of the pictures you may not like, but this is how you can draw without drawing. And I can say, yes, love it. So now I can use that picture and do whatever I want to with it. And just like as if I would have gone and Googled this picture myself. So now you can AI with I can't draw. Next. Really big update that I'm so excited about. Open slideshow. So with any Padlet, you can now automatically create a slideshow. All I do is click that and even if I don't own the Padlet. Like even if I am on someone else's Padlet, I can still put it in slideshow mode. So notice it puts like your title. It gives you a title page with who this Padlet is for, your directions, all that good stuff. And then if you have a section, it puts it on a title slide. So create your account with a section. And then it just puts everything here. Everything over here, like if this was a, um, a video, it would play. If it was documents, you can scroll down. So everything is going to be active and live over here. If you want your student name to be here, it doesn't show you exactly who posted this. But if you tell your students to put their name in the Padlet itself, it will show up. So just keep that in mind. Woohoo! Notice you have your three dots down here. So you can copy a link just straight to the slideshow. You can put it in full screen. You can restart it. All of that good stuff. So now I can just exit this out and I'm back to my Padlet. Isn't that awesome? So you see how it put all of these section titles as the like title pages and then it put it all there. Like I said, it may not show you who did each one. It may, it may not. If it doesn't, you can just tell your students to put their names in the Padlet itself and then it will show up. Yay! And the last one is if you're on someone else's Padlet. So if I go to someone else's Padlet and I actually want to know when people, you know, post to this, but I don't want to like come and check it every day, you can now follow Padlets. So I'm going to come here to open activity panel and I can follow this Padlet, which I'm already following it. So you can follow this Padlet and then if other people post is going to give you a notification that you have a new post on your Padlet. Yay! So there you go. Five new things in Padlet. I can't draw. Slideshow mode. Beta features. Shorten that URL and follow Padlets and get notifications. Good luck. Hey everyone, here is a 
bonus update. This is now in beta. So if you go sign up for the beta, you can practice and test this out. A lot of us truly love the show format because it has these very, very organized sections. Guess what? Those sections are now coming to all formats. So if I come to make a padlet, notice I have my simple formats. And then if I scroll down, I now have advanced formats, which are all of these formats with section titles. You can hover over, you see how timeline now has those little sections at the top. Grid can now have sections, stream, wall, and map. How awesome is this? So now you can put sections on all of them. But again, this is still in beta. So remember to go and sign up for beta so you can test these out. Good luck.